Line out stolen by Scotland, but then the ball loose. Mark eventually threw Laidlaw to Cowan. And uh, Finn Russell again, hurling it out wide, and Bennett. A little chip through Fitzgerald, falling upon it for Ireland. It's been a while since they've had a real chance to attack Ireland. Sexton feeds ball, little ball in back, to back. Rob Carney. Now Mike Ross. Off feet four! Space beginning to appear out wide now, O'Brien and on to Henshaw again, Fitzgerald alongside, and Luke Fitzgerald now flying towards the 22, gets it back to Henshaw. And just in touch. Fantastic scramble on defence again from Stuart Hogg, we saw that last week, but the key in attack for Ireland is quick ball. We've seen Scotland have a lot of possession, but it's been slow, Ireland have been hard at the breakdown. But Ireland Henshaw, have quick ball here, don't they? They do, and Henshaw again very, very quick to use that short, short side himself and Fitzgerald. Getting a lot of, so much more width on the ball than they've shown in the championship so far. Looking for the continuity, more offloads than they've shown in the championship as well. Yeah, it's and, Fife. yeah that's just the foot and touch. Important tackles. So Scotland under pressure again. And that after good work on the Irish throwing the line out. So this time it's Scotland under pressure, but Johnny Gray timed it well with his lifters. No, rip from. Leave it! No, no. Number two, blue! Two! Jim Hamilton keeping that ball in there with some giant limbs. And the kick doesn't get a huge amount of ground, so Ireland with the line out and threatening still. The yeah, Ireland line has disimproved an awful lot since the first couple of matches against Wales. It was poor. Wales getting men in the air exactly where Ireland was throwing the ball. And so far, Scotland doing well as well, disrupting this Irish throw. Paul O'Connell will, uh, is, is smarting from that, and he'll the want to redress here. the balance here. No, wait. Blue, no. Man at the back. Tillman takes it down and straight through goes O'Brien. And O'Brien for the line and the try. What a try for Ireland scoring again. And the points continue to tick up. It's Sean O'Brien who bursts through. Well, Scotland are going to be disappointed. That is a soft try. They were going to be expecting Ireland to maul that. And maybe even Ireland were expecting to maul that. But when we see it again, the ball is won pretty well at the top. O'Brien is, is supporting Toner, but he takes the ball straight off him. I think what happens, it fills what the throw's fantastic, but it's over the 15, the Scottish defence can rush up, and they've overread it, they've come up too quickly. They have, and that and man, Sean O'Brien's found it and finished it well. They have, but that's a planned move. That was done with such... That was done so deliberately by, by O'Brien, he knew exactly what he was doing. They will, Scotland would have been on their guard because Ireland have used that ball to the tail to maul so frequently. They weren't expecting that quick offload. This is panning out like the game in Rome, isn't it, already? Two more for Ireland from Sexton. And after an early flurry of points for Ireland, there was a pause, but they scored again. 14 points, the difference. Yes. Slips it, doesn't he? Toner slips it to O'Brien. He's in behind the defence, and he's a powerful player. Dougie Fife tries his best, but Sean O'Brien's been impressive in and around the ruck and more, and now he's got to try.